welcome to this live Mimer quiz show with me, your hostess with the mostest, your tinfoil hat friend and your new best friend. My name is Christina and if you're wondering what makes me your new best friend, well, first of all, I'm basically begging you to take my Mimer tokens and I have 1,500 of them. So if you're one of the winners, you will go home with some tokens. That's so nice, right? And also, if you're anything like me, you're obsessed with aliens and that just automatically makes us energetically, energetically connected. So let's start the game and connect with the first question of this alien theme quiz. Let's jump straight in. So question number one, what does the famous line from the E.T. movie go? How does it go? E.T. phone home, E.T. go home, E.T. bike home, or E.T. take cab home? I hope you know this one. You know what, I might have a unique taste in men, but E.T. can abduct me anytime. Show me the stars, the galaxies. So romantic, right? But first he really needs to give me a call and ask me out the proper way. And the right answer is E.T. phone home. Call me. So for question number two, when was the first Alien movie by Ridley Scott released? Was it in 1979, 1986, 99, or 2001? Hmm, give it a think. He also produced The Martian, another super cool space movie from 2015, but the first Alien movie was released in 1986. Hope you had the correct answer for this one. If so, you're over to question number three. So, what is the name of the accident where, uh, the incident where supposedly a UFO crashed in 1947? The Rosebud incident, the Area 51 incident, the Joe Rogan incident, or the Roswell incident? Supposedly. I mean, come on, man. We, we've all seen the photos and the TV show with the same name, so we know it's true. And the right answer is the Roswell incident. Congrats. You're over to next question. So... Speaking about interesting places, this is just falling off. Okay, let's lose that one. I think we're safe, okay? Please, don't abduct me just yet. Let me get through this quiz. So, next question. Speak yeah, speaking about interesting places. So, what is Area 51? Is it a secretive base rumored to have built super advanced technology, a meeting place for UFO fans, a secretive military facility rumored to host aliens, or is it an alien-themed amusement park? Personally, I would say it's all of the above, but to be super correct, the right answer is a secretive military facility rumored to host aliens. Not very secretive though, am I right? I mean, it's about as subtle as the Mars Attacks movie. So over to the next question, it's about the Mars Attacks from 96. So who directed the movie? Here are some of my favorite directors, by the way. Love them all. Is it Tim Burton, Ridley Scott, Steven Spielberg, or Quentin Tarantino? In the movie, an army of aliens from Mars visit Earth and meet with the president. But here's the funny thing. They predict, predict that Donald Trump will be the president. So not to be a total tinfoil hat, but there's something super suspicious about that, don't you think? Hmm. The right answer, though, is Tim Burton. Good job, you're over to the next question. Okay, so question number six. In what movie Alien is also known as Yatuja? Is it the Xenomorphs, the Predators, the Yusums, or the Ewoks? Or as I like to call them, the Cuddly Bears. So cute, right? And the right answer... Mm, are you ready? Yes? Okay, it's less cute. It's the predators who hunt dangerous, other dangerous species, including humans for sports. Nuts, crazy. Mm, there's an alien I don't want to meet. Never. Okay, question number seven. So, in The War of Worlds by H.G. Wells, where did the aliens come from? Were they from Mars, Jupiter, Neptune, or Mercury? I remember watching this movie and feeling so bad for Tom Cruise. I mean, all he wanted was to spend a weekend with his kids, but at least the alien war brought them closer together. So that's kind of nice, no? Yeah? And the correct answer is Mars. So um, yeah, I desperately want to go to Mars. It would be so cool. 
yeah, so E.T. can call me, but also Elon Musk call me. Yeah, uh, question number eight. What inspired the famous click sound made um, by the movie Alien Predator? An agitated spider, a running lobster, a dying crab on a beach, or a dying fish on a beach? This is one of the scariest sounds ever heard, am I right? Gives me the chills. Ooh, no. Um, and one, uh, yeah. So, a dying crab on a beach is the right answer. So scary. Ooh. And speaking of scary, next question. Number nine. So, what is the name given to the alien, ske alien looking skeleton found in 2003 in a deserted Chilean village? Is it Chilacama skeleton, Atacama skeleton, Chilean skeleton, or the Katakana skeleton? If you haven't seen the pictures, you have to look it up. You have to look it up straight after this quiz is, quiz is done. Google it, do your thing. You'll be wearing a tinfoil hat five minutes later. Trust me, it's super creepy. The correct answer is the Atacama skeleton. And I have my fingers crossed because you are over to the last question and might be going home with some Mimer tokens. So fingers crossed and here we go. Question number 10. What was the name of the US Air Force's investigation into the existence of UFOs? Was it the Green uh, Project Green Book, Project White Book, Project Red Book, or Project Blue Book? Hmm, do you know this one? I'm hoping you do. Do you? Let's see, let's see if we have some winners. We do, yeah. A lot of people got this right. Project Blue Book, congratulations. My tinfoil hat fell off, but if it didn't, it will be off for you. So congratulations. Thank you so much for joining me for this Alien Bonanza. I will see you next time on the Mimer Quest live show. Take care, stay safe, peace, bye.